welcome back to my channel. Cat Wonders here. <sighs> I just ran up the stairs, catching my breath. I have a very exciting haul for you, very exciting for me, especially because it's a Sugar Thrills try on haul. They're not totally new, some of them are and some of them aren't, but I've, I've not tried them on yet. Fresh tags just came off, that's exciting. And these are so Barbie core. It's crazy. Baby doll Barbie, like playhouse dresses. And <laughs> I'm totally in love. One of them I couldn't try on because it's an extra large. And it's funny because I was like, did I order an extra large? I've done this before. I've made this mistake before where I'm just like trying to get it into my cart and then I screw up on the size. But the bag that I ripped open to pull it out of is a medium. So I ordered it in a medium, but in the medium bag, was a size extra large. So it was like more of a factory thing rather than just like a, an employee that's doing their job too quickly. <laughs> anyway, so I couldn't try, try that one on, but I'll show you actually. This is what it looked like. And I really love it. It's super, super cute, but it's an extra large and it just doesn't fit. It's like I'm swimming in it. So that's sad. Um, and because I ordered it like too long ago, I don't think there's anything to do about it. I'll just have to donate it, but let's get straight into the haul. So by the way, this is not sponsored. I ordered these all by myself. They have no idea that I'm making this video. Dolls Kill that is. Sugar Thrills is a brand by Dolls Kill. It's a very specific brand to them. And as far as I know, you can only get Sugar Thrills on the Dolls Kill website, because trust me, I'm so obsessed that I absolutely I feel like there's like a piece of glitter on my shoulder right now. I've searched high and low for more sugar thrills. Cause you know, when you order something and you love it and you're like, I want more, I want this exact thing in like every other color. And that's totally my personality. <laughs> I want, I love it. I want it in every color. These are also sugar thrills by the way, but sugar thrills is kind of one of the most playful, creative brands that I know to exist. There are a few other kind of bougier brands that are very kind of boho embroidered, like that I also really like, but each piece is like $700 that I don't have one piece of that brand, but I have everything of Sugar Thrills. Not everything, but pretty damn close. And I'm just excited to show you some of these pieces because I cannot wear them in real life. It's not like when I buy these pieces, I'm like imagining going out for dinner in them or going on vacation or actually wearing them in real life. These are pieces that I'm adding to my collection and might never ever put on again, but I'm gonna have them in my collection. <laughs> That's not true. I do have like try on parties with my girlfriends or my family when they come over and then we have like a full on try on party. And these are just too fun to put away, but so I have like a Sugar Thrills closet where everything is Sugar Thrills and color coordinated. So if I'm looking for that one green dress, I can go to the green section and find it. <laughs> it's out of control. Let's just put it that way. Sugar Thrills is also like reasonable for what you're purchasing. So like dresses will range between 80 and $100 Canadian. So not over the top by any means. Um, and their quality control is pretty spot on. The odd time, like the cups will be too small, like this one dress, the last dress that I tried on, the cups are too small, so my titties are a little bit wee wee, <laughs> a little squished up. <laughs> I don't know what that wee wee was. Oh, there's a, that sound reminds me of when I was playing Super, or is it Super Mario? Anyway, Nintendo 64, Super Mario. And there's like, I think it's Yoshi when, I don't know, I, <laughs> that sound just triggered something in me. Anyway, moving on, let's get straight into the try on and review. All right, this first dress, if Valentine's Day were to magically transform into a dress, this would be it. So this is such a cute dress. It fits me like a million bucks. I might have a greasy face. I just realized I did not powder my face after I put my makeup on. Meh. Anyway, um, it's stretchy, lovely. Even though this is kind of like tulle, it looks itchy, it's not itchy. The length is perfect. It's got this extra little layer of tulle underneath that keeps it fluffed out. And I love that they have this. This always saves me when I'm doing up the zippers in the back is this sort of 
stretchy accordioned fabric. This is adorable. And I would wear this in real life if I lived in like Barbie land, but also the hearts are shimmery. And I think it's so cute. And definitely like I said, Valentine's. I probably could get away with wearing this on Valentine's Day. People would get it, but it would still be, it's a bit of a showpiece. I don't want to necessarily walk in looking like some sort of showpiece, <laughs> but like ridiculous kind of, I don't know, where would this be appropriate? Really, I don't know. Anyway, you let me know in the comments down below if you can think of a place where I could wear this. Okay, this next one is also adorable. It almost gives me like 90s vibes. I don't know why, but it does. This fits like a glove, perfection. I love the puffy sleeves. Um, the flowers actually are 3D. This one is cute back here. And the embroidery, the effort, everything is finished very nicely. There's no like loose strings flying everywhere. Oh. And the colors, it's just such a lovely little dress. This is maybe a bit more wearable than the other one. It's a little less costumey, I think. Like if I was in France going on a romantic date and I had my hair really slicked back like into a bun, kind of almost like this, but with like a bun, then I might be able to get away with wearing this with like some neutral shoes. But otherwise it's still a little over the top, but it's super cute. Then this next one is more simple, okay? It's almost like back in the 19, 1800s when women used to wear 17 layers of clothing underneath their dress. <laughs> they had like their kind of nighty looking one underneath, then their corset, and then they had another one over top. Then they had their actual dress over top, and then they put like an apron over top. And then, so this <laughs> reminds me of like the third layer beneath the massive dress. Super soft tool or whatever you want to call this. Of course, there's little dots of velvet, <laughs> velvet on there, velvet. It just fits really perfectly and it's very, very soft. Like I said, very soft, very cozy. Would be really cute for like a tea party. Another thing that this would be fun for is like if you did like a Barbie themed bachelorette party or something like that where you needed something extra, Sugar Thrills is the way to go. Just, just a suggestion. But um, fits really well. And actually I was worried about the boot part, but they just, the girlies just sat really nicely in there. And I like it a lot. Okay, this one might be my favorite Sugar Thrills dress of all time. And I am not even joking. The fit, the structure, the boldness, the, um, the shock of it all. <laughs> Is this dress. Now it doesn't look like much right now, okay? It also could be extremely Valentine's Day themed. This dress fits me so good that I wasn't actually taking photos of any of these dresses like for Instagram or whatever, but this one I put it on, I was like, I'm taking some pics of this. It fits me so, so good. And I was worried that I wouldn't be able to get this neck piece done up because like these here are kind of a pain in the ass. I actually got it on and I love it so much. Let me know your thoughts. Um, yes, this kind of sums sugar thrills up with just how great they are.
last and least, <laughs> this might be my least favorite one. But okay, so this one is super cute. The weight is really nice. Very, very, very soft. Um, but the cups are too small. They're just too small. So like I did kind of pull my titties in so that they did fit in there and had a bit more cleavage. But you could just see that there's something a bit off proportionally with the dress, which is the chest part. So I do have a wider set chest. My titties are a little wider than like the average C cup. So I'm like a 36 to 38 C um, just because I just have broader shoulders. I don't know, I'm Dutch, maybe that's a thing. Not super, super tall, but um, this is a, it's too small in the top. So I wouldn't be comfortable wearing this. Could I get it altered? Probably, will I ever? No, I have too many other dresses that I like a bit better. But look at this color combo with the light baby pink shimmer on top of the, actually no, it's like this, the satin underneath is shimmery. Oh, but really, really, really cute. I really like it, but I just won't wear it. Will I wear any of these realistically anyway, ever out? Maybe not. Maybe I just gotta start throwing theme parties and hope other people buy sugar thrills or just invite them over and say, here, shop my closet for my party. <laughs> Well, everyone, that concludes this Sugar Thrills haul. Thank you for tuning in. Definitely Barbie-esque. Let me know which one your favorite, which one was your favorite. And do you th think I should do more hauls like this in the future? More Sugar Thrills kind of dolly hauls. Also, Dolls Kill has a ton of crazy, crazy outfits, stuff for raves, festivals, Anything you can imagine. <laughs> if you want to look like an alien, you can find something on that website. Um, they have everything from shoes to accessories, insane purses, and really like fun, fun, playful stuff. Dress up is so much fun. Uh, one of my favorite things to do ever, if you couldn't tell. Let me know your thoughts down below. Please subscribe. I've got a lot more of this kind of stuff coming and some different stuff coming. So it's taken a bit more work to structure some of these future videos, but it's going to be worth it. Also, I've got an OF and a Patreon linked down below in the description box. So don't forget to check those out if you just want to see a little bit more of me. A little bit or a lot, you know, it's up to you. And yeah, email me, whatever you want. Just reach out. I love hearing from you and uh, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.